Welcome back, everybody. Now, before we finish off the game, let's upgrade ourselves finally. Our second last to our last HP memory. Now we are solidly at level 100. Every armor, every weapon upgrade, and every HP memory. Easy as that, level 100. A, um, the reason why I got so much money so quickly was because of a technical error. With an area... Uh, it's where all the junk uh, items are. An area 14, where you had to speed through everything. Make sure you don't encounter any air viruses. I was wrong about the drops there. You do have the chance to encounter 10... Uh, uh, sorry. 10... 30 to 50 Zennings. But if you do a Sakri Saiyan trick that I showed everybody, you can get 10,000. Straight out the gate from each HP memory if you have the patience enough to start, um, whatever, save, reset until you get what you need. That was how I was able to get so much money so quickly. So, Let's head off back to Wily and take care of the last uh, World 3 uh, net battler, shall we? Before we head off back to Wily's castle, let's show what the advances that we currently have but are not able to use because we don't have a lot of battles coming up. This is Radon, uh, sorry, Zeta Radon. If we mix F, G, and H together, simply creates Zeta Radon. Zeta Radon is much faster and much more uh, faster to turn. So better in the mid, mid to late game, but still able to do a lot of damage. Right after Zeta, we, we get to Omega. So what happens here is when we put Da, 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 F, G. Where's H? H, I, and J together. We create Omega Radon, too. <laughs> longer invincibility, and a longer time to throw Radons. Yeah, again, really good to mid to late stage of the, of the game. From right on two to our highest cannon, when we mix together the cannons of K, L, and M together, we create the advance of Zeta Cannon. Zeta Mega Cannon, to be exact. The power output is 120, yeah, again, invincible, and fires a lot faster. One of the best ways to actually advance your way through a fight. Those 10 seconds could really save your ass, and when it comes to normal viruses, they don't get stun locked. So better, better for uh, better for viruses than navies because navies have a tendency to basically become invincible whenever they hit whenever they're hit big time by something you know big. Now, after seeing Zeta, we might as well show off Omega by putting together K. Okay, L, M, N, and O creates, you know, the advance already. Omega Mega Cannon. <laughs> 10 seconds of pure power. Easily spammable and, and does great damage. You know, I call for a last one, it still applies here. After the second variation, we get the third variation, right on three. Instead of inflicting 100 damage per, we got 120. Now, when we mix K, L, and M, it creates a much, much faster, much more dangerous variation of Radon, being Zeta Radon 3. They obviously move faster, you pack a bigger punch, and Perfect for late game to deal with those faster enemies that like to 
you know, move around the screen, move around the screen where you can't hit them. Now, lastly, for all of our letter, well, <laughs> down the line uh, combinations, we will now mix Radon three with K, L, M, N, and O. Fishy being the best enemy to show this on, we create Omega Radon. You know the gist. Omega and Zeta gives us invincibility. And we're able to fire them off at rapid fire if we can. Radon's not one of those. But being 120 damage per hit makes it very troubling for some enemies to get away from it, even though it can only turn once. So it's a perfect mm, fodder chip. On to our special combinations now. When we mix shotgun with cross gun with spreader and mega cannon all together and under K, this creates the very unique and destructive special advance of power cannon. Power cannon actually has a really nice animation. <laughs> this inflicts 200 damage to every panel on the field, acting like spreader but on steroids. Really good late game. And I'm pretty sure you can actually get this very early on, so a lot of 200 HP enemies will just fall fall flat in front of you. For our next special advance, hopefully nobody's afraid of needles. When we add Drain 1, Drain 2, and Drain 3 together with a wave, all being under A, we get the very Right, a frightening uh, advance of Blood Suck. Blood Suck does 200 damage to every enemy on the field by injecting large syringes into them, siphoning their blood, and healing us back for what we currently don't have. Very, very frightening. But the way to get these, well, mainly drain chips, is gain S ranks on every mosquito enemy. Kind of difficult with how some of them move and how one single strike can essentially bone you. Now, finally, time for one of my favorite advances in the game besides Gut Shot and uh, the one that you get at the very end. By putting together simply Typhoon, Hurricane, Cyclone, and Repair, all being under G, which is great if you're running Gut Shot mainly, we create the very frightening and powerful advance. Death Storm. This is a 200 hit, da uh, whatever, uh, a 200 damage strike, hitting everybody on the field. It might not do, it might not do the most, but the animation is amazing. <laughs> now to show out something that I might not have been able to show within this episode. This being Double Hero by playing. Fighter, uh, Fighter Sword, Knight Sword, Hero Sword, and Blues all together under B creates the special advance and our last uh, Navi advance being Double Hero. Both Blues and uh, Meg Man get onto the field and inflict 400 damage to every opponent on it. This being almost as strong as Gut Shot, being able to hit everybody on the field but with the caveat of using three three endgame chips, as well as blues being a endgame navy, an endgame fight to handle. This can rip a lot of enemies in half. And I'm not talking about the advance. The chips themselves individually are amazingly strong. So your choice if you want to use it? I might not have been able to show it in uh, Let's Play, but I'm here to say it's really, really, really fucking good. And we're back from getting all of our, <laughs> all of our HP up. Now we're at most powerful, and we showed off every advance that we have. Now, let's go take down that operator, shall we? Weird. Can't use my batteries here. For real? No, not, not sure we made it so far. Lynn, I'm here at last. Mail? You too. What's going on here? Roll. Hey, Mega. 
But what are you all doing here? I saw you near the school entrance. And I told everyone, so we all came here to help out. Man, I was doing fine by myself. Yeah, right. Is that any way to show gratitude? Really? Roll, roll out. Yep. Roll flash! That, thanks, roll? <laughs> we did it. You take care of yourself, Mega. <laughs> sure thing. Now then, thank Mail. <sighs> Nobody asked her to. Mail? What now? Oh, thanks. You really saved me. Thanks to all of you guys. Oh? Man. I was so worried. Sorry. I meant to be cheering you on, not crying. Good luck, Glenn. Mail. Leave it to me. I'm jacking out. Wait. Sorry to interrupt such a touching scene, but this is as far as I can allow you to go. Who are you? I am Yahoot, right hand man of Wily of the World 3. I am his Navi, Magic Man. And for my next trick, I'll try to make us disappear. This is Magic Man. We're really starting off with this. No fucking. We're going to make him disappear first. Magic Man is a very special net navy. If you want, if you want, if you want to focus him on a uh, enemy class, he is referred to as a summoner. Those panels there will summon viruses, and he will only stay in that spot and try and kill us that way. That's not going to fucking work on us. <laughs> As you can see my, here, my deck is focused all around A, sorry, B, G, and C. Giving myself a very, very threatening balance of three. Shit. There goes my charge shot, and there we go. Magic, Mag is, uh, Magic Man is no more. <laughs> kind of curve stomped him at the end. We did it. Ugh. Yo, it's not you two. Here, use this. A bit data from the life virus. <sighs> life magic, huh? <sighs> Yo, Hoot, I did it. You can say goodbye to Megman.exe. No. M magic Man, look out. Life Mag! <laughs> Too late. Mega! Lan. Lan. Your father gave me this. Here. Hub? Bat? What's this? Emergency receiving call. Uh, hello? Lan? Dad! Mega Man's. Dr. Akari, I'm sorry it was too late. Lan. Lan, listen to me. You can still save Mega Man. But he's not responding. Apply the hub dot bat to Mega Man. There may still be time. But before you use hub dot bat, I have to tell you something. It might make it hard for you to use Mega Man, okay? I don't really understand what that what you mean. But I'll do anything if it might save Mega Man. Um, listen, about ten years ago, I was working on a new kind of navy. A kind of navy that could truly befriend a software. But a program is only a program. Though I could make a navy follow its operator's orders, I couldn't make one think and act on its own. So I started thinking, maybe if you had some connection with your navy, Navi could respond to your emotions, and thereby create its own emotions. So I tried. 
looking at human DNA, I came to a conclusion. If I made a, a Navi with DNA just like the operators, its basic values and emotions would be the same. The operator and Navi would become a single entity, making an ultimate Navi. But it was tough making a program with DNA. I can make about 95% of, of a program, but no more. I couldn't figure out that last 5%. My research came to a sudden stop. It was around then that I had a son. A cute baby boy. We named him Hub. But our happiness didn't last long. He had heart trouble and became too weak to live. So I thought somehow I would keep his memory alive. Then Hub is your twin brother. You were born from the same egg. Your DNA is identical. I could use Hub's DNA to make a Navi for you. Suddenly, I had the DNA solution I had been searching for. The Navi I made was Megman.exe. The results pro proved that I was right. Megman.exe is a new generation of Navi. It's close to you as a brother. But there was a danger. If I made the DNA 100% the same, the Navi's internal and external state might sync with you. So damage to a Navi would damage you too. So I changed Megman.exe's DNA by 0.001%. If you can use hub.bat, that 0.001% will disappear. You, you mean Bagman will be born again as my twin? Correct. I was always sending Bagman into such dangerous places. Did Bagman, I mean, Hub know the truth? I asked Hub to keep it a secret. If he knew the truth, you'll be too scared to use him. The Navi that you can't use isn't a good Navi. So. What will you do? I'll let you decide. But, a hub. I'll lose Megman. Remember, if your DNA is 100% the same, you will be affected. But whatever affects your Navi and the receiver is, and the reverse is true too. Len, if you truly think you can beat World 3, I think Hub will sense that and he'll come back to help. Okay, I'll use hub.bat. Lynn, you're doing the right thing. Applying hub.bat to megman.exe. Hub, come fight by my side. No, reply? Huh? L Lynn? Hub, it's me, Lynn. Wake up. Let, ugh. Ugh. What happened to me? Hub, it's you. When you called me Hub? Hub, I've told Lynn everything. We used Hub up bad to bring you to life. Dad, I see. That light means your program is being rewritten. When the light goes down, your power should be increased. Yeah, I can feel the energy inside me. Man, I'm sorry for not telling you the truth earlier. Uh, I'm sorry for ordering you around all these years. No problem. I always regret not being able to be with you in the real world, but being able to watch you grow from inside here made me kinda happy. Hub, uh, so how do I oper operate you now, I wonder? Be yourself, and I'll be myself. Mega Man. Let's hurry, Lan. I'm counting on you. Right. Okay, let's go, Mega Man. Right on. <sighs> no, no need for facts. I'm just keeping you around for entertainment value. 
Mega Man. I'm so glad to see you. So yeah, uh, Hub is Mega Man, and uh, if you don't know the pun structure there, LAN as an at landline and Hub as Hub Network. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cheeky in my opinion. <laughs> so let's get Hub out of there and. Uh, Okay, before we walk into there, as you can see, our network settings are turned off and our save function is turned off. So, yeah, what well, that Navit said was correct. Yahoot fucking disabled us. <laughs> Alright, with no other thing to do, let's head on up. <laughs> Once I press this button, bye bye world. Dr. Kari may have kicked me out of his little lab, but now I get my revenge. Wait, Wily. Ah, uh, Kari's little boy. Man, I presume. Leave it to the Hikaris to bother me to the very end. The end game is revenge against my family. Why? <laughs> Shall I tell you? Thirty years ago, two famous scientists competed to be the best. Me and your grandfather, Dr. Hikari. I made robots, and Hikari specialized in networks. We were both lost in our research. Then one day, in order to win an international competition, our country had to pick one of our projects to fund. After a long debate, I cancelled my robot research. I couldn't believe it. My research was vital. VITAL! I had no place to turn to, and so I left the lab. That's why I'm mad, even if it wasn't for Hikari. So I made the world free to get back at him. So he made this, this world what it is, and now I will destroy it. But he didn't cancel your research. It's not his fault. <laughs> That's what he said, too. <laughs> You'll never understand how I feel. Never! Enough talking. We're all prepared for deletion. No! <laughs> never. Not if Mega Man and I can help it. Jackin! Mega Man Dye Transmit! Here we are, in the last in the last area. Go fucking figure that he's doing this out of spite. In one world, oh yeah, he gets what he wants and he's kicked out because he's unethical. In this world, he's thrown aside because they decide to focus on the internet. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, <laughs> let's go see this little white virus of yours. <laughs> By going down this winding path, yeah, there's still viruses here. Um, after moving down this winding path, routes will be long, there's no items to pick up. Okay, okay, there, there seems like something weird is going on. <laughs> okay. Len, the light virus. If we can delete it, World Free's plans will be foiled. It is our ultimate virus busting. <laughs> Battle routine set. <laughs> Execute. Here is the life virus and all of its eerie glory. This big fucker is going to do a few things. I'm going to. Oh, first off, that barrier there is now. I'm going to be protecting him until he attacks, so, um... Shit. I'm going to place this down if I can. And I can! I'm going to activate Iron Body right in front of him. Do I think this is a smart idea? No! But will it work? Maybe. Fuck it, I need the damage. And as you can see... Oh, joy. 
as you can see, the damage that... Oh! It had, it had everywhere. Okay, there goes Anubis. Okay. The original plan there was to have Anubis... Uh, essentially just keep my, uh, keep whittling the light virus down while I explain shit. Oh, Julie. Okay. So, as long as that barrier, barrier's up, he's going to be inflicting a lot of damage to us. The best way to stifle that is either having a chip that does a lot of damage, like specifically wood, here, to negate it, and just comboing off at it. Oh right, I forgot there's different parasites. <laughs> if you're figure, if you're wondering how I beat him the first boss, uh, the first time, without, without, well, you know doing what I usually do. Uh, yeah, I did what I usually do. I just used Gutshot. <laughs> Relatively easy battle, only a thousand uh, HP. Not that much of a difficulty curb, because you can two-shot this thing. My life virus! What? 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 What have you done? My baby. My wolf three. No! Warning. Warning. The virus leak. All systems malfunctioning. Self-destruct sequence activated. Uh-oh. My, my precious wolf three laboratory. Let's get out of here, Mega Man. Jack out! Roger. Lan! Lan, are you okay? Hey guys! And the life virus? History. <laughs> Yippee? Where's everyone else? They got away to safety. Great, now let's scram. <laughs> Alright, this place is going to blow. Most three. Forever! And so. Good job, Lan, and, uh, I mean, Mega Man. Oh, I'm so glad the two of you are okay. Sorry, Mom. Well, I never thought raising two boys was going to be easy. Isn't that right, honey? <laughs> they couldn't have done it without you. Oh, thanks. They could have done it without us, you mean. Uh, honey. Honey. Your mom and dad sure get along great, Lan. Great, Lan. I know. It's really embarrassing. Maybe we could learn from them. Huh? What? What are you talking about? We're, we're just friends. Lan, 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 Lan. He really is dense, isn't he? That's right, Roll. <laughs> you said, Mega. Look. Even Roll and Mega Man are in, are in the mood. I've had it with you, Lan, after I was so nice. I shouldn't have rescued you after all. Uh, I don't- I don't get it! What am I doing it wrong? What am I doing wrong? Whew. Wowza. Woo! Woo! Male Lan! Male Lan up in a tree. Male- uh, male- are you? Do you? Isn't obvious- really? Y yeah, but I, uh, mm. Don't deny it, Lan. <sighs> That's it. This conversation is over. <laughs> Just thanks for rescuing me, me, you too. Dex always pays his debts. Don't mention it. <laughs> thanks, Dex. You're a true friend. <laughs> That's right. You need a little more practice, though, Dex. What, what was that? We practice while you... Oh, no. Aren't we all a happy bunch? Show. Thanks. You really helped me out. No need to thank me. The fact you made me look pretty bad. Because you did all the work. <laughs> eh, grumpy as ever, I see. But 
I can stop the stop the world for you if you haven't helped. Thank you. Yeah, well, thanks accepted. This time, but next time something happens, you leave the fighting up to me and bit and blues. Hey, you're right by your side, right, Mega Man? Eh, sorry. I mean, if you still want to, uh, hub. Mega Man's the name, and I'm with you all the way. As a team, then, we're unstoppable. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. Just one thing. From now on, you're getting up by yourself in the morning. Got it? Wait, really? Aww. Ha 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 ha. But, there can't be... Can't be a crook here now. The alarm system must be buggy again. Darn old things. Then we got a job to do. Right on. Let's go. <laughs> Jack and Megman. Dottie Transmit. And this is the end of Battle Network One, which then goes out to Megman. Battle Network 2, then it separates into a dual continuity. What could I say? This is a great start to, to essentially a series that's really, really close to my heart. What consists to be a heart? It has a lot of charm, it does a lot of revamps of, of older characters, making them look, well, more modernized, instead of the humanoid figures that we often see. <laughs> humanoid robot masters that we see. As well as making it its own unique identity. It's not just... <laughs> it, it's not just Megman Cyberspace. They put so much charm, so much effort to make this thing into its own entity, and it does. If you have no prior experience with the Megman series, this is... Essentially, no, sorry, <laughs> sorry. If this is your first Mega Man game, period, without playing the originals, without playing X, Zero, Legends, ZX, Star Force, this is your first game out of all of them, then this is a whole new, well, going in fresh, you don't really, you don't really see the references. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm so flustered. The main thing here is... Ugh. Okay, I can't explain worth shit, and I'm pretty sure that I'm not really good- I'm still not really good at outros. But, it is your first... First intro to the series as as a Mega Man fan, or as a newcomer, it's very welcoming, punishing at times, because some viruses are placed in very weird fucking locations. Um, the bosses are relatively... They're the easiest in the series. <laughs> Even though Let's Play Curse often kiss, it kicks me in the ass whenever I do say that. Proto Man is the first thing that comes to mind. If you're a fan of RPGs, if you're... If you're fan of breaking the game in half in such a unique way, then if you can pick it up, try it. If you do have it somewhere in storage, your cousin has it or anything like that, ask them to borrow, ask if you can borrow it and play it like that, because this game is like fucking 70s, 80 bucks <laughs> to get. And, uh, yeah, it's a good experience. It, it develops further on and such and such. So, I'm Bell. I thank you for watching this whole LP. You're still around. Thank you, and good day, good night, and hope to see you all next time on our on a new LP.